Hello YouTube. So yesterday I did my first run through of the Cuphead tutorial. It's a game that's giving a lot of people a lot of trouble. Um, so I thought seeing as I'm now an expert at the tutorial level, um, I've run through it a couple more times. I think I've got the hang of it. Uh, I'll give people an in-depth in look at how you can beat the Cuphead tutorial. So first of all, here we have our controller. Um, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller, but your Xbox controller is pretty much the same, but with the analog stick swapped with the directional pad. But either way, you want to um, hold the left handle here with your left hand and the right handle with your right hand. As a general rule, your left thumb should be used for the D-pad and the left analog stick. Your right thumb, the right analog stick and these buttons. Your index fingers should hover over the closest left and right bumpers, whilst your swearing fingers on the ones that are further away. Now what may have been confusing to some is that the first part of the tutorial doesn't show you the buttons you need to use to move the character, so I'm going to reveal that secret right now. What I referred to before as the D-pad actually stands for directional pad and the left and right buttons usually would move the character left or right. So here I am, moving this character, I don't know the name of the character, but I'm moving them left and right with my thumb by hitting the left and right buttons on the D-pad. And you can also use the analog stick in the same way by moving it left and right. Now when it says here hold down to crouch, it can mean on the directional button or on the analog stick, same as moving left and right. Moving on to the next part of the tutorial, it says press A to jump. I'm using a PS3 controller so the equivalent would be the X button. Now pay close attention to the smaller text here which says tap for a short jump, hold for a high jump. This mechanic is possibly the most difficult aspect of Cuphead because it's very, very rarely used in video games. I can only think of a few very obscure, incredibly difficult video games that use this mechanic, and barely anyone has played them. Games such as Super Mario, Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Man, I love these old school Mario games though. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Also, if you just aren't very good at these types of games, uh, like me and Joe aren't, you might feel as if uh, additional run and gun sections would have been appreciated uh, in each area just to get you more coins so that you can farm a bit better uh, for more items earlier to help push you through. So let's jump on this block here using what we've just learned. Oh, now there's a spanner in the works. Now we have to jump and dash with the Y button which is triangle on the PS3 controller. Now it doesn't say to jump, so what do we do? Obviously if we just press Y and dash, uh, the character whose name, again I don't know, uh, will just automatically jump on top of this. But that doesn't happen. What is the tutorial wanting us to do here? Well think back to the previous section where we learned that if we hold A rather than just tapping it, we will jump to the highest point. It seems that if we do that, we get just about to the top of this level that we want to jump to. So let's try combining these two things to get to the ledge. Oh. oh no, something went wrong again. What did we do wrong this time? We've followed all the instructions and we still can't get to this ledge. Hold on a sec, think back even further than that when we learn that pressing left moves your character left and pressing right moves your character right. Now this ledge here is to the right of our character, so what happens when we combine everything we've learnt, hold right, jump and then dash at the peak of our jump? Yes, we managed it, we got onto the ledge and we only had to have a very basic knowledge of pretty much every platforming game in existence to do it. The next part of the tutorial is quite easy, it gives you the answer right there. Press down and A. Make sure not to press A and then down, that won't work. 
Next we learn that X is shoe, which is square on the PS3 controller. Now here's another tricky one, and we need to remember again that right moves your character right. So after jumping we can jump again, and we kind of bounce off these pink objects. So let's try holding right after we've bounced off the first object. Try not to hold right too soon to avoid going past it. And by doing that we manage to get onto the next platform. Handle it, this also shows us how to do the next part of the tutorial, which is the same thing, we just jump onto this ghost and press the jump button again. From here on out, the tutorial gets slightly easier, though still quite tough. What we have to do next is press the B button, which is circle on the PS3 controller. And that does a super move. Be careful though, as it says in the tutorial, you need to have a super meter card to be able to do this. If you don't know, those are the things that look like cards in the bottom left. So we have three cards here. How many super moves does that mean we get? One, two, three and we've run out, so three cards equals three super moves. By now you should have learned everything you need to know to jump over the final block and move through this door. Now, how do we get through this door? Um, crap. Seriously, how do I do this? How do I get through this door? I don't, I don't get it. I'm pressing everything here, I'm not getting through the door, what is going on? This game is far too difficult. 